Uh, guys, I just filmed the entire day a video. It took me quite some time about speakers. Speaker placement, how to get the best sound out of your speaker by positioning it right, getting it up on ear level, how it changes depending on where you place speakers in a room. Like a generally good video, how to improve the sound of your speakers without spending any money. And then I was like, I've done that already. I've done that already. There is already a video out by me on this channel where I explain how to get the best sound of your speaker. It's a problem. It's a big problem. I wanna fly, I wanna fly. You know, my father always tells me, if you have a good idea, make sure to not repeat it. Because the second you repeat it, it's not a good idea anymore. And I agree 100%. You see, the thing is, I make a video every day. So coming up with ideas every day isn't that easy, but something I got used to. Like there is always something, you just have to view it the right direction and you'll be able to make something out of it. The thing is just like due to, especially now 2020, like Corona, COVID, it's even harder because I'm not doing anything. I'm just like heading over here to the studio, make music, head back home, that's it. I don't meet a lot of people. I don't travel, I don't DJ, I don't do any conventions. ADE was supposed to be next week. No ADE, obviously. Ultra wasn't there, festival season wasn't there. And I think also like the next Ultra might not happen and maybe even the next ADE might not happen. <sighs> I just hate that. It really, it really just frustrates me. And I'm, I'm not the only one. I can only imagine how the people feel like where the livelihood is on, on the line because they're the ones making these events. It's just a weird year. It's just, it's just weird. It's so weird. I'm saying it's you gotta, you gotta let me know. You gotta love me or let me go. It's so deep. It goes down so deep right there. But yeah, um, there is there is option A. Option A would be to just stop. Stop these videos, stop daily vlogging, because I've shared everything I already know. I don't want to repeat. Like everything that has to do with music production, I've shared everything that has to do with DJing, I've shared. These two topics, I've crossed them off. Like every single time I do a Q&A, same yesterday, I get so many questions and 99% of these questions I've already answered in like a full video. So if you're interested in knowing anything about music production, DJing, marketing, marketing your music and getting to the same point I'm at right now, just go check it out. All of the knowledge is here on this channel. And you might have already noticed in the past month, I've tried out different stuff. Since I hit 100K here on YouTube, I thought like, I need to evolve. I can't like continue repeating doing the same stuff. It just is boring for me, boring for you. And without like forward thinking and doing new, I just lose interest. And I actually love making these videos. I love the filming aspect of it. I like the editing. I like telling stories. I like you as an audience and the interaction. Like I like it. There is no way I'm going to stop. I just, I just need to change what it's about. Tell, tell me what it's like, like to move on so easy. Back in the days when I started in that studio right there, I started making these videos not to become a YouTuber, not to have a lot of likes and clicks and plays and make money with it. Not at all. Absolutely not. Didn't even think about it. My main thing back then was actually just making videos because I was into filming. I wanted to have a reason to buy a camera. I wanted to have a reason to film. I was first thinking about music videos, 
but it was like too complicated because for music videos you need other people and collaboration and it's like on a whole nother level. I wanted something I can do myself. And at the same time also, everyone, everyone in my family, every one of my friends, everyone surrounding me, every single time I met them, they asked me, what are you doing? What is your job? What are you doing on a daily basis? Are you even working? How are you making money? Like people were just not really knowing about what a DJ music producer does. So I've been, I've been thinking what, what could be like the next chapter. And I honestly don't really know yet because like, I just don't know. Hello. Hi. Quick question. Yeah. What is my channel about? Well, first thing about you. Okay. And what your else? Your job, your life. I like the answer. Okay. I like it. What did you expect? No, because like, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I had some thoughts about like evolving the channel a mm. little. So I think, yeah. I, I know what to do. First of all, food. Well, this is part of your vlog as well, yeah? Yeah, food. Uh, we're hungry, we're lazy, we don't want to cook, so... <laughs> Subway. It's my favorite out of all of the trash food. Because it's like the least trash. I mean, it's still trash, but at least it doesn't make you as fat as the rest. My sandwich is always full of spicy, spicy, extra spicy. I think to move forward, I need to go back to that initial thought because that was why I started it. And that's what makes the most fun for me, at least. And as I already said many times, I think you're the most successful if you do what's fun to you. And then finding the people that also enjoy the same isn't that hard. The world is a big place, full of people, no matter what you do, how niche it actually is, there will be enough to support. And I also think like the, the vlogging part and the sharing and the daily thing is what sets me apart from every other channel, at least like music related channel. So I think I focus more on that and I have been in the past month and like all of my numbers went up, which is nice. I do what I like. Plus it seems like people appreciate it. Just as an example, I think like a month ago, I made a video about the Kashmir free plugin it was very successful, but it's a video I'm not proud of. It's it's a boring video. I'm just presenting a plugin. Everyone could do it, and a lot of other people did. I mean, you're probably familiar. Whenever there is something new out there, everyone on YouTube is just doing the same thing. And like a week ago, I made a video about um, the synagogue and about hate and like, important stuff and I actually really enjoy that video. It's a video I'm proud of and that's what I want to focus on moving forward. So I hope this explains a little what was going on on this channel for the past month. I tested multiple things, tried to figure out what I like. I figured kind of out what I like or at least the general direction like back to the roots but then still evolving and it, it won't be like a full radical change so so don't worry like the core principles and stuff will like stay but taking it somewhere else like step by step and let's see let's see what happens